Uh, I'm Brian Kaseka. I'm one of the applications engineers for Trinamic. I'm here based in the Chicago office. In an application, you're going to need a little bit of code on your end to get it to work up and working. And we need to work on the microcontroller side as well. So we have some tools to assist you with that for this getting it up and running. We have a tool chain available. So this is the idea here. We have uh, an Eclipse project that we've been developing using uh, our TMC API. We use the, you would need the ARM embedded tool chain as well, since we use the ARM processor on the uh, Landon Spruker communication board. And using the TMCL IDE will help for the tuning as well. So the tool chain setup. Uh, I also want to point out we do have an app note for this in case you uh, need some support on that. Uh, but to start, you install the Eclipse, get the C, C++ version of it. There is, we have a link for the ARM compiler as well. And you will need to add this to the path variable. This is all, uh, you can find all these links within the app note. And we have our API you can download from our website as well, or I believe from our GitHub. Um, so this is written in C. It goes over uh, all sorts of application uh, function levels. You have your general definitions, uh, then you go to your register descriptions, very simple stuff. Then you have low level functionality, uh, spy reading and writing. Um, and then you know you get your mid-level functions. So you're setting target velocity, getting uh, values, scaling it, initializing it is a little bit more complex. And then we have in even higher level functions. So we have some code written for ramps, a few different rampings. Uh, you, you can get some step direction generator as well and some homing uh, short little codes as well. So uh, this is independent from your CPU type. I just want to point that out. Um, you know, we use this as well. You can see this in our evaluation system. Our eval system is open source code as well. Um, yeah, it includes little code snippets that you can bring into your own code uh, for easy usage. You should be able to see this now. I have downloaded a clip here, and I've got the uh, the GNU compiler. So, what I would do is we are going to import a project an existing project. So I've already downloaded this, but you would probably find it in your downloads. I've already stuck, stuck it into specific files. So I'll open this up, this directory, and we have our eval system here. So within the eval system, uh, we have our API, you, where you'll be able to see all of our ICs. We have a lot of code here as well. So for example code on what we run on our eval boards as well, which you can look at to implement into your application. Let's go through the API first. So uh, we have some helper functions here. We have all of the ICs available. This is uh, also a project that's continuously running at this point. So we, you know, we're updating this constantly. We have most of our ICs on here. So let's first look at, you know, to open the registers. So we have all of the registers set up here, so you don't have to worry about that. It's easy implementation, so you can, rather than having to type in 0x3b, you have the name of it. Uh, and one more thing I want to point out, some of the registers do have uh, multiple modes in them, and we've also listed these modes as well. Uh, a lot of the registers are also, uh, you know, they're all 32-bit registers, so uh, we can combine more than one item in there. For instance, in this register here, uh, we have the ADC I1 raw, and it's also in with the ADC I0 raw. So what we do is we have the mask shifting available here, so already set. So it's going to automatically mask these bits and shift it right by 16. So this is all already set. You don't have to worry about this. You can just port this over to your system. Let's go into the code a little bit. So uh, to start, I just wanna go over the spy wrapper. This is quite important to be able to get your code 
up and running. This function is will be necessary for the spy functionality. So once you get this working on your end, you, you can use this, but uh, then you'll be able to start the communication process. So we, you know, we have the low level functions that I had mentioned. So reading your, uh, your values, uh, your registers, and you can write as well. These basic functions, that's simple enough for you to do. You have, you know, you just list the motor, the address, and you're, it, all the functionality is already there. Let me close these all so it's a little bit easier to read. We get the torque values as well. So this is a little bit more uh, higher end than the, just reading an integer or reading the registers. It's not complex though. Uh, we have, you know, since we've already included our header file, we have some uh, some functions already integrated. And within the header file, you'll see quite a lot as well. Uh, and we, we added a little bit of a functionality here to get the torque value in milliamps rather than having to just get it in the raw value, which is a lot more useful on your end. You will need to get a measurement factor on your from your system, but once you find this factor, it's easy enough to implement. And obviously, you know, we have some of the higher level functions that I had mentioned before. Uh, where there's different ramps here. So let's go to the linear ramp. Uh, click the header. So this is all available for you. You can either create your own linear ramping on your end, or you can use this one. Um, it's all available for you. This is all, you know, just a download away. And there's also some other, you know, functionality like the encoder initialization. It's a little bit more complex than the other ones that we had been going over, but it's still available for you. This is all easy to implement on your end. All right, so there is one thing I did want to uh, actually show you as well. So after you've already done all of your tuning in the TMCL IDE, what you can do is you can go up here through the register browser. You can do an export to your C code. So once all of these are loaded, I'm in the virtual mode right now, so you don't actually see anything, but you would have your values set here. You can export, export options, and go to the export C. And you're able to get this. So right here, we do not have the motor, but that's easy enough to implement over here. We would just go, um, add a space there just for convenience sake. And it's added into everything here and you can export all of your files to C code and easily transfer it over to your end. 